Can you imagine how people reacted when Edison showed them the world's first telephone? Hello? Hmm? Or can you imagine how people responded to the Wright brothers when they were talking about their idea to create a vehicle that could fly in the air? Those guys are nuts. Probably they reacted like that. Virtual reality headset manufacturers and developers are coping with somewhat of the same problem. The technology promises a big change that many cannot comprehend yet. The beauty of VR lies in the simple fact that you can step into an existing or fictional world and that you can create worlds from scratch. The power of virtual reality is that you can be in a virtual world and it can be so real that you react physically to what's happening in that virtual world. I remember myself dodging flying projectiles, making a complete fool out of myself. Did you know Oculus, a uh, virtual reality headset manufacturer, was acquired by Facebook for $2 billion? $2 billion! That's an insane amount of money, right? Why would they do that? Why would Facebook invest so much money in a virtual reality headset manufacturer? And why would companies like Apple, Samsung, Sony, Microsoft, Google invest millions in augmented and virtual reality technology? It's because they know it's worth it. And it's because they know virtual reality will revolutionize the way we communicate, educate, design, or the way we organize our healthcare, for example. That's why I'm in virtual reality, because I want to be part of that revolution. And today I'd like to invite you to join me. Imagine doctors from all over the world putting on a virtual reality headset and being able to train themselves how to perform certain surgeries. Even in third world countries, where doctors can't always afford to have high quality education, in that way, virtual reality could save lives. One day, I was at an event in Amsterdam, and we were demonstrating one of our apps with which you can paint and 3D sculpt in virtual reality. And normally, someone trying our app would just randomly paint around. But then a father and his son walked up to me. And the boy was like really eager to try our app. He was like, sir, can I please, please try your app? I was like, sure. So I put on the headset, and he figured out how it worked. And then he sat down, and he started painting his own little cabin and a puppet to play around with. And then I looked at his father, and he was moved. He had tears in his eyes. And I walked up to him, and I asked why, and if he was all right. And he said, yes, I'm OK. But he had never seen his son being so relaxed and focused on one particular thing without being distracted, knowing that he had a mental disability. That's when I realized that sometimes you can have an idea that means so much to someone without you knowing it yourself. At that moment, virtual reality truly made sense to that father and his son. Now, let me try to step into virtual reality and give you a glimpse of what you can do in a virtual world.
Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Can you see these? Can you see me waving at you? All right. So here we go. This, this is part of your future. And this is why I believe virtual reality will create many job opportunities for you guys, a new generation. And hopefully together, we can make virtual reality matter. Thank you.